Hey, what's happening, you guys? Credit D. Will here from Sweetwater. Welcome to the channel, and thank you all for tuning in. Yo, so Mackie is here today at Sweetwater. I got one of their product specialists that's gonna come in today in the studio and talk about some of the new products that they have out right now that are geared towards content creators. So if you guys wanna check out any of the products that you see or hear mentioned in today's video, then click the links in the descriptions. They'll take you directly to our website where you can find all the products there. But y'all already know what time it is. Let's dive in and Let's get creative. Hey guys, this is Matt Redman with Mackie. I'm the director of product management over there. And we are really excited to be giving you an overview of three new products that we have that are focused on content creation use cases. Matt, bro, yes, thank sir. you for coming out, just <laughs> hanging out with me, man. Yeah, man. I enjoyed your presentation that you did uh, with our sales engineers. So I definitely had to get you in here to just talk more about some of this awesome gear that you guys got coming out. So yeah, let's man. just dive in and talk about it, bro. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I guess there's a, a few different products here. They're all sort of mixers and interfaces to a degree. I think the most familiar one to our our like core user is mm -hmm. going to be the Pro FX Six because we've been making compact analog mixers for like 35 years, and so this is just another yeah. new one, right? Um, whereas uh, things that are a little more different, I'll actually go over to the right next. Just leveraging off of that that mixer strength. We wanted to leverage that into the creator space by making a mixer that was optimized for use with phones and tablets, mm. right? Because traditionally, if you are connecting a ProFX type mixer to a, a computer for recording, it's like USB traditional stereo recording. Yeah. But so many people, like yourself, are cutting Content on mobile. Creating, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you don't want a camera. If you don't have to, you can use your phone or whatever. Definitely. So now, instead of just recording off the phone mic or a single mic, you've got a couple mic inputs that you can do or an instrument input. Like, you could use this for musical use cases, too. And you can connect either wired and record to your phone that way, or you can record wirelessly over Bluetooth. Wow. And there is... A, I'll flip this guy over because the the other big feature with this guy is that it is powerable by a USB power pack. So that is not included, right? Like a lot of people, you already have one yeah. or, or you're going to get one. Um, but the point is, you've got hours of battery life, so you don't have to plug this thing into the wall. So I can take this out and literally plug it up and utilize it as an uh, external battery? Or how does that work? Well, so the, the USB power pack mm -hmm. is your power, power source okay, gotcha. for the mixer gotcha. so that you don't need to plug it in a wall. Mm. You can carry it with you and do a mobile shoot, put it on a cart, whatever. Wow. Right? So. so this is 100% wireless mobile mixer. Exactly. Wow. And you've even got the tray there. So I'll pull my phone out, you know, and if I want to dock that right oh. in there. Oh, that is super innovative and dope. That is awesome. So how many inputs and outputs we have on this bad boy? Yeah, why don't we take a look. We'll flip it up here. Uh -huh. Two combo inputs, which again can be a microphone or an instrument or mm -hmm. a line. If you have some sort of stereo line source, quarter inch, you got that too. If you had other content on a separate mobile device, whether it's like music or whatever, there's also additional inputs for eighth inch, so you can just plug your phone in that way. And then there's a couple of different headphone outs, so sometimes you need more than one headphone out at the gig. Mm -hmm. Both of those are on there too. And if you're using it, you can also use it in a live sound capacity. There's main outs, and so if you want to plug this thing into a speaker, you could use it. You could do that. So like one of the use cases I think about is, let's say you've been asked to run sound for a small wedding or mm -hmm. something. You can use this as a mixer for running live sound at that <laughs> wedding, that so and awesome. you can capture the ceremony, all the audio from the ceremony right, right. off the mixer, right? So, wow, yeah. wow, that is awesome. Does does this come included with like any software or anything? There's no software, it's 100% analog, other than the Bluetooth wireless streaming, which is bi-directional, right? Dope. So on the one hand, you could use it for incoming audio for to stream for your you know uh, house music or whatever. Uh -huh. On the other hand, you could also use Bluetooth for call-in support you want to you've got mix minus on there too you could take a phone call on that and so anyway it's, it's super flexible yeah. and also easy because it isn't digital there's no apps it's just there's a knob for everything right there's you've got eq on the mic channels you've got uh, built-in effects too there's three different mm -hmm. flavors of reverb if you need it so super so if versatile. i want to do a whole podcast i can do it right just with this right here you could, and you would, if you want to be like super gorilla and just do that on your phone, <laughs> well, and we got two like mics, literally, we're yeah. done, yeah. Yeah, that'd be, that's awesome, man. Yeah, for sure. So we definitely had the, you know, 
mobile content creator in mind because whether you're live streaming or you're just capturing, mm -hmm. it does both, Yeah. right? So. You know what? I think this would be super cool. You know how people are, are capturing vertical video? Yeah. And they have, like I say, a guitar or mic plugged in. Yep. You'll be able to capture that audio directly to your phone video exactly. and utilize it for that. Exactly. I mean, one of the big problems with sort of capturing anything out in the field is like, you probably got a handheld recorder sort of, or something so like that, yeah, right? Yeah. So to be able to capture it off the same mixer that's running the event, you just get crystal clear audio that every time, amazing, right? That is amazing, man. This yeah, is man. super cool. So what about this bad boy right here? What is this? Well, I, they're all my favorite, but this is like the one that I think is kind of the most innovative and new, right? So live streaming is a massively it's continually emerging, yeah. you know, it has been for a while, yeah. but I want to say that, and the manufacturers have been playing catch up, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it's an exciting space because I still feel like live streamers are underserved. And what's great about this product is that it's all in one. There's very little on the market that will handle your video and your audio and that offers you control over your PC as well. And this does all three. Wow. So we can get into that one yeah. level deeper just so you can see. So let me start with one of the problems that we're trying to solve which is simplifying setups, right? So if you're a live streamer today, mm -hmm. maybe you have a capture card, maybe you have you yes. know, a stream deck, maybe you have an yep. audio interface, and you have all these different components. Why? That's a lot of wires, it's a lot of hardware, if you can just pack it all into one box, that is, right? That's and we really had the one person show in mind with this, right? Mm -hmm. There's so, most live streaming is an individual, right? And yeah. so, um, for this particular product, which is our first entry into live streaming, we'll just run the rear panel real quick here. We support all three flavors of microphones. So, mm -hmm. you know, the user who wants to step up from like a USB mic or built-in mic or yeah. whatever, now you, you start to do your research and you learn like, okay, I need XLR if I'm going to be professional. Either way, we support XLR microphones, headsets, if that's where you're at. Yeah. And then there's also a built-in USB hub. So if you had a USB mic or wanted to add a second microphone you can to your feed, you just USB. add it to the hub, that's right? That's pretty cool. And then after that, there is an eighth inch. Again, if you had any extra line content or music or a phone call you wanted to take, you can add to your stream. For monitoring, there's both headphone outs and like studio monitor or control room outs. Video, Mackie's first video product. So. Uh, it accepts one HDMI input, so that can be anything. It can be your PlayStation, yeah. it can be a really good camera, whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Plug that in there, and then for gaming in particular, there's a high-res, uh, ultra-low latency pass-through, right? So you can game in real time with no latency, wow. but still capture uh, the game. And then again, after that, the USB hub, that can be anything. You can use it just for charging. You could add another webcam. So now you've got two cameras coming into the product mm -hmm. and two microphones if you wanted. And then all of this connects over a single USB-C to C run to the computer. So power, data, all, all of it. <laughs> that one, is One run cool. to the computer. That right? is pretty cool. You get rid of all the clutter in one device. This is really, really cool, man. Yeah. I can see a lot of people actually utilizing it's just for the simple fact that like you said you just get to free up some space on your desk yeah. so so that's the setup side right mm -hmm. and then the other side that we're excited about is um you know simplify the setup streamline the workflow right so the other benefit of putting everything in one box is that you don't have all these pieces of hardware all over or all these pieces of software yeah it's all together so and the other cool thing is you know there may be some like primary controls that you need uh, while you're doing your live stream. So setting up is one thing, but in the middle of your live, you might need to control different things here. So I've got my PC level control if I want to change that. If I want to change my HDMI level control, I've got that. If I want to mute that phone input or mute my microphone, I've got that. Microphone level for the XLR or the headset microphone here on the left. So that's kind of your input channel. Mm -hmm. And it's all icon based, super simple. You don't need to be a tech head to know how to use it. There's yeah. just three knobs on it, right? And then full color, high res metering next to that. And then on the output side, we put your headphones on the big knob because that's how most people stream. Yeah. But if you have computer speakers, you've got that control there too. And if again, you want to mute your HDMI feed or mute your monitoring, all that's right at your fingertips before we even get into the software or the control aspects. Man, this is pretty powerful. It's really cool. I bet you're going to ask about these. Uh, I yeah, am. That's exactly <laughs> what I was looking at. I was like, man, what are all these knobs? Look like exactly. a PlayStation controller. That's dope. So, uh, 
there, yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm waiting for Sony to add the running man to the <laughs> next controller, our, our logo. <laughs> anyway, um, they're basically control keys that can they're, they're assignable in your software, right? So if you're in OBS, as most people are yeah. for live streaming, and you want to set up things like scene changes or whatever it is, you can map those to hotkeys. And so instead of having to press, you know, F3 on your keyboard or whatever, you have dedicated scene changes right here. And the other part that's really cool about it, um, there is software for this product as well that we'll talk about in a minute. But whatever application is in the foreground of your streaming PC, mm -hmm. these buttons can be assigned to do stuff in that software. So not just OBS, not just Mackie Matrix software, but if you wanted to map a button to do something in Spotify or whatever else, you can do all that stuff. Can I utilize this in my DAW? Like, if I was in Cubase or something like that. Yeah, you could. Ooh. Can you map function keys in Cubase? Pretty, yeah. There you go. That's what, that's what this does, yeah, right? Yeah, so cool. It's just cool to have it in a dedicated space, space right in yeah, front of you yeah. instead of on the keyboard where there's, like, mm -hmm. you know, 300 keys to accidentally hit the wrong one, you know? Yeah, that is pretty cool. So, man, you mentioned the software, and I saw you guys utilizing that at the Lunch and Learn. Can you tell me a little bit more about the software and some of the features that it has? Yeah, for sure. I mean, let me start by being clear that you don't require the software to use this as an interface, right? Oh, really? You can get your video, your audio all in. You can map these keys through OBS without the Mackie Matrix software, all that. But if you're a true live streamer, you're probably already using live streaming software, right? Mm -hmm. And so because we put everything in one piece of hardware, audio, video, and control, it made sense for us to try to solve the problem, not only of simplifying your setup, but streamlining your workflow. Now you don't need three different apps to go get your video, your audio, all, all mixed together. So if you're taking a look at the screen here, like the, this basic setup here, I've got not only my hardware inputs that I need to manage, how loud is my mic, how loud is, you know, um, my game audio, all that, but also what if I have Spotify or Discord or whatever up on my computer. Mm -hmm. And so you have a, a mixture of physical inputs and virtual inputs that you need to balance all together. So everything that's plugged in or every app that has an audio output gets you know set up across the top and you can customize your mix so they go in exactly the order you want, you know, one, two channels, one through six, whatever. And if we jump into start mixing here, it's just a screenshot of the app. It's not a live mix, but you can see I've got fader control for everything. And the dual metering here is one of these is my mix and the other one is my live mix, right? Oh, wow. There might be something that I don't want to send out my live mix that I want to hear or vice versa. So you have two custom mixes for all those channels, full level control there. And then one more thing on top of that that's super fun too is that because this software not only handles your routing, there's also... Um, audio processing built in, like our MEQ, so you can go in and, and, and tone shape your voice and do all these things. Again, mainstream is just an interface, so no processing built in. But once you get your audio into the computer, you can Mackie, Matrix, Mackie Matrix can process it for yeah. you. Right? So that's super cool. And then exiting out of that, the last thing I'll hit real quick is the sample button. So in the software, if you want, you can just click, you know, air horn sample and play that. But you can also map your samples to these hardware keys up top. So if during your stream you want to hit some applause or a swear bleep or whatever, it's just all right <laughs> yeah. at your fingertips and you can do it in hardware or in software. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Matt, bro, I appreciate you taking the time to show me all this wonderful gear that you guys are coming out with. I'm super excited. Uh, I know our customers are going to love it, man. Again, thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed your time out here at Sweetwater. Oh, heck yeah, man. Thanks so much for your <laughs> all right, time. Bro, anytime, man.